talk a bit about hip fractures. There's different types of hip fractures. There's three major types. I'm gonna talk about those three today. So I want you to take a look at a normal hip x-ray. This is the femoral head. This is called the femoral neck. This is the lesser troch, and this is the greater trochanteric region of the hip. And then this is the shaft of the hip, and it actually goes off the x-ray. This is the first type of hip fracture I'm gonna talk about, which is a femoral neck fracture non-displaced. Here is the fracture line non-displaced, which means the hip bone is sitting in great position, but there is definitely a break or a fracture going through the femoral neck. The second type of hip fracture is a displaced femoral neck fracture. So the ball of the hip has completely fallen off of the shaft. So this is the femoral neck area, and this is the ball or the head of the femur, which is completely fractured off. So if you take your eyes back over here, this is the femoral neck, this is normal, slide back over here, this is where it is fractured and actually the whole shaft of the hip has migrated superiorly. This is the third type of fracture I wanna talk about and this is called an intertrochanteric fracture. So the femoral neck looks fine, but between the lesser troch and the greater troch, there's a horrible fracture. There's a fracture line here, there's a fracture line here, this is called an inner troch fracture. Treat each one of these fractures differently. They all require surgery, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you some x-rays of how we treat each fracture. This is an image of the normal hip. Femoral neck looks normal. This is one where there is a non-displaced fracture of the femoral neck, and we treat this with something called percutaneous pinning. We make a small incision right here, usually no bigger than about two centimeters, and we insert three screws into the hip, which will then stabilize this fracture. And these typically take about six to eight weeks to heal. The second type of hip fracture is the displaced femoral neck. So again, remember, this is normal. Femoral neck looks normal here. This is completely displaced. The femoral head has fallen off. This is completely fractured. This will require a bipolar hip replacement. The reason why this fracture requires a hip replacement and the non-displaced fracture did not is because when you have a fracture through the femoral neck that is displaced, it disrupts the blood supply to the femoral head the femoral head essentially dies. So if I put three screws in there, after bringing this back into position, this femoral head would most likely die. So we just don't even do that first surgery where we put the screws in, we just go directly to a bipolar or half of a hip replacement because that will get rid of the femoral head that is no longer viable and just replacing it with a bipolar hip replacement. The third type of fracture is called a intertrochanteric fracture. So remember, this is normal, normal femoral neck, greater trochanteric region of the hip, lesser trochanteric region of the hip. An intertrochanteric fracture happens between the, these two areas. And you can see where that fracture has occurred. We treat this with a small rod and usually a small screw. And the reason we don't have to do a hip replacement or partial hip replacement on this type of fracture is because the again the blood supply goes through the femoral neck the femoral neck is not disrupted in this type of fracture see the femoral neck is still intact so the blood vessels are still going here to feed the femoral head so we're able just to do what's called an open reduction or percutaneous pinning with a intertrochanteric rod and a uh, compression hip screw so Three different types of hip fractures, non-displaced femoral neck, percutaneously pin it, displaced femoral neck, you're gonna need a bipolar hip replacement or a total hip replacement. Intertrochanteric fracture, just need a rod with some screws.